Hi everybody, welcome back to the next part of our Let's Make series. Um, this part we're going to make the um, page here. We've got a lift up pocket um, with a belly band and a tag, a little book, let's just open that up, just with a couple of journaling spots inside, and a raised semicircle here with room for tags and a little envelope behind it. So let me take you through what we need to make this page. And let's just move that so I can see it. Okay, so we're going to be working on the back of the previous page, so we need to turn it over. And I've cut a piece of paper already and stuck it down again just to save time and that's eight inches by four and a half inches in the green check and then onto that we're going to add a black pocket lift up pocket like that so I've cut um, two pieces for this pocket one piece of black card that is eight and a quarter by five inches. Let me turn it round. And then I've folded it at eight inches, but uh, four inches, sorry. And then I've used my, is it an X cut? Yes, X cut flower doily punch just to trim the edges. Nice little punch, quite dainty little flowers, and that just gives a scalloped edge. And then for the pocket piece, I cut another piece of black card, which is five by three inches, and I've scored it half an inch up from the bottom edge to fold that over. And then on the back, I've just put some tape and um, double-sided tape just to secure that down. So let's do that first. Let me just tear these little strips off, backing strips. Okay, and then, first of all, I'm going to line the bottom up. it sits flat and then just stick the sides down, press that along the bottom so that gives quite a nice little pocket and I'm just going to embellish that here. All I did was cut a piece of red card which I put the measurements on the back so I can tell you exactly what they are, um, four and a quarter inches by one and three quarters and that's going to go on here like that so let's stick that down with some sticky glue or tacky glue i'm just going to center that up she says not very well just on there like that and then i just cut out greetings tag from the paper, 12 by 12 paper, and um, I'm just going to stick that on here, and then I think, I can't work out which side I've done it, by the G, I just put a stamp under there as well, just for a bit of detail, so let's stick those down, stamp first. Stamp over that corner, and then this one on the top, just move that down so it doesn't squidge out, okay, I'm going to put that, line that up, it's 
really hard lining things up upside down. It shouldn't be, <laughs> but I find it really strange. And then we're going to stick that at an angle like that in the book. So double-sided tape across the bottom and up one side. Okay, just before we stick that down, um, I've actually used a magnet to shut this and I've forgotten, forgotten to add it. Um, so let's work out where it is going to go. I've cut one of the little tabs from the Tiny Tabs and Tags die, one that I use all of the time, and I put that over the doily edge and it just fastened down onto the bottom of the, t the pocket. So let me see. So let me tell you, put the magnet in before you stick everything together. I meant to remember and I've forgotten. So what I'm going to do is try and lift this bottom edge away if I can of the pocket front. And then I should be able to slip the magnet into the bottom of the pocket. So let's turn that over again. Right, let's just move that out of the way. Um, first of all, I've got an A and a B magnet. These are the Paper Mania magnets, um, readily available on the internet. Although I buy them in the UK, I don't know who sells them in other countries, unfortunately. But uh, Basic Grey also do them, and they're very, very thin magnets and great for scrapbooking. So, put them together, 1A, 1B, and take the sticky backing of one of the sticky dots. It's easier said than done. And stick that into your tab, if you're going to use magnets. And then that tab needs to be stuck down. So let's put a bit of glue on there. Smooth it so it doesn't squidge out. And this tab is going to go on the bottom of the pocket front. So it's going to sit. As near to the middle as you can get on that pocket front. Okay, like that. The magnets are attached underneath here. So now I'm going to take the A magnet off, fold this over. And the B magnet needs to go on the inside of the pocket front. So I'm just going to slip it under, make sure I get it the right way. Okay. So I haven't taken the other sticky bit off yet. I just want to make sure that I'm putting it in the right place. That's it. So what I've done is slotted it under here. If you can just see it, now I'm going to stick it down because I know that that will. That will close shut. So I'll just turn that over. Take the sticky bit off if I can. Bring it out and then slide it back in. This is how not to do it. <laughs> Gosh, it's sticking everywhere. I'm just going to hold it with my finger and make sure that it is in the right place again. Let's just 
to move it. Hmm. It wants to be a bit too far. A bit too far over. Okay. Right. I think that's it. Re stick that down. So that will shut now and click closed. In fact, I might just move this up a little bit if I can get it off, which I should be able to. on the back. Right, so what I've done is just lifted this little tab off and I'm just going to reposition it a bit higher on that front flap so the two magnets actually are over each other. So the way to do it, everybody, is Put your magnets in first before you start sticking everything down. Not take everything to pieces once you've stuck it all together. <laughs> anyway, let's just stick the back of this little tag down. You don't have to use magnets. You can use paper clips or ribbon ties or, or anything. I just like the magnets. They're really neat. And um, I don't use them for everything. But I just like the look there. So that shuts now, which is great. Okay, before we stick it onto the page, I'm just going to build up what's inside it. So I had cut another little saying to go out over here, but I'm not going to put that on here. There is one on my original album but I am going to put a belly band on the top here so I've cut one of the, the sayings out of the paper this is 12 by 12 paper and I'm just going to stick that at an angle across there like that with just a bit of glue either side and then we've got a tag that fits inside there so let's put a bit of glue either end I've inked everything again before we started um, okay, stick it at an angle. So let's press it down, get the glue to stick. And then I'm just going to trim off on the other side the bits of paper that are sticking over the edge of the pocket that we're making. And then where I've cut, I'm just going to re-ink those white paper edges and they disappear. So that's the belly band on. And then the tag that I'd put in there was just one of the uh, tags from the 12 by 12 paper. And that just slotted in like that. I'd made a little book to go in the bottom here. And I'd done that by, let's put that together, three pieces. I cut the compliments of the season saying from the paper. And then I cut a piece of red card. Let me just measure that because I can't remember how long that was. Um, eight inches by three and a quarter. And I've run that through an embossing folder. It's one of the Baroque embossing folders, just to give it a really nice finish. And uh, I actually put it in, sandwiched it, and put it in like that. I can't see the folder. And the phone's ringing, let me just get the phone. <laughs> okay, so here's the embossing folder that I used. It is um, one of the Sizzix 
I'm not sure if it's a Baroque. I can never remember the names and the Sizzix haven't got the names of the folders written on them. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's come out really nicely. As I say, I just put the, the whole thing into the folder and then run it through my cuddle bug like that. And it's embossed both sides really nicely. And then I'd cut two little journaling spots out of cream card to sit inside like that. So let me just ink those. Okay, all inked. Now I'm just going to stick them down. Centre them up, stick them down in that one. You don't realise how long it takes to put these albums together. Or I didn't until I came back to redo them. I should think of everything up front and then film as I make one, but I'm never that organised and actually I'm sort of thinking as I'm making and trying to come up with something a bit different each time. So I never really structure out in storyboard form the whole of an album that I make. Okay. Perhaps I need to be more organised for 2012. <laughs> right. Something else I've picked up just um, recently I really like masks and I picked up this holly mask. It is that special touch of, if you can see that, and uh, it's just called holly. And I'm just going to put a little bit of holly on either corner of this, all these two journaling spots. And I'm just doing that just with my ink pad and then just dabbing very lightly over the mask just to give a really nice effect in the corners. If you can see that. Not too heavy. Just gives a hint of something and uh, just makes it a bit different. Anyway, all that needs to happen now is for the cutout to be stuck on the front. And then we've finished the book. Yay! So I'm going to put it at an angle. You can put ribbon around your book, do anything you like. I've kept it quite flat because it's got to fit in a pocket that's closing with a magnet. Um, quite sweet. So let's pop that into the, what's happening under here? Oh, that hasn't stuck down properly. Let me just stick that down again with another strip of tape. That's where I stuck that magnet underneath. Stick that down, turn it over, and then it's ready to put the little book inside. So it just slots in there, like that, and it should close. Yes, it does. Okay, last piece to go on this is the picture on the front, and what I did for that was cut a piece of red card and the size for that was four and a half by three and a quarter and then using my flower doily punch I edged the top two no top and bottom edges and then centered up 
the sides and punch those as well just to give that doily effect all the way around that mat and then I cut the little picture from the paper to fit in the middle of it again you can use your own dimensions um, and, and put your own decorations on but that's that was what I did so let's just stick this down bit of glue in the middle stops it creeping up bubbling flatten it all down I should do that with a tool actually but I prefer to use my fingers it just gets very messy right and then center that on your photo mat stick it down and then stick it onto your pocket you can see where I've written the dimensions nobody will know I don't want this glue to come out over the, pop through the holes, so let's just drag it back onto the mat. Turn it over and stick it down. That's it. And that's that little pocket made. So now it's ready to go onto our paper bag. Get the paper bag and make sure it's the right way up before putting the pocket on. So let me just check. Yep, yep. Okay. So I've put sticky tape um, along two sides. The two sides that are nearest the fold of the bag, or the bit that's going to be attached to the album. And I'm just going to pull the backing strips off. I'm doing it right-handed now. That's amazing. Perhaps not. <laughs> I'm really not good with my right hand. Right, done it. And then I'm going to put it at an angle so that it sticks out over the top of the bag but not the bottom and I'm going to put it quite near this edge here okay. and then to finish off I had cut a red let's open that up semicircle fitted over there like that and I'd cut that out from my X-Cuts scallop circle die, the larger one, and then cut that in half. So I'm just going to stick that down with some tape across the bottom, but only the bottom. So let's just do that. Open your pocket and then stick that. I'm just going to leave a little bit of the green paper showing underneath that. So stick that one down. And then over the top of that, I'd cut from the next size down scallop circle another semicircle. And that one I did stick down completely. So let's just run. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, I'm not watching the camera. Run some glue over that. Flatten it towards the edges so that the edges stick down. And then stick on top of the red scallop. Again, 
I'm just going to leave a little bit of red showing at the bottom. Just gives a bit of a detail to the page. And then I've got a little cutout to go on top of there. So I'm going to stick that one down as well. And then there's only one more bit to do to finish the page. So stick that one on there. That one should still shut. And the last little detail is um, a little red envelope. You can put anything, anything you like behind the pockets, but I quite like these little envelopes. Let me tell you what it's cut out of. It is the Sizzix envelope with ornate flap die. I don't know if you can see that. Um, really cute little envelope. And I've, can you see the sparkle? I've put some candy cane stickles, it's my favourite stickles I think, on the top. And it comes, the die comes with a little uh, fleur de lis cut out. So I haven't put any stickles on that and I've stuck it over the top of the flap just to finish off. And then I've just stuck down the two, two sides. I haven't put the little card inside that yet. Um, but that just gives a little bit of detail there. Or you can tuck it in, tuck it under. Oh, one thing we haven't done, and we mustn't forget to do, is to cut the semicircle out from here. So that we can see our photo mat inside. So let's turn the page over. This is the two inch punch. I'm just going to follow the line of the cut from the other side, cut that away, turn it over and ink that edge. That's it, and then that little envelope can go in. And then all that's left to do is to add um, the photo mat. This is 7 inch by 4.5 inch photo mat and then I've done a um, photo mat for the, for the actual 6 by 4 photos and that's cut at 6 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter and that just fits into, let's see if we can do this one. Fits into that pocket like that just to finish it off. Oh, everything's falling out from underneath, it's not good. And that's the page finished. So I hope you've enjoyed making that and I look forward to taking you through the next one shortly.